stories ahead on Channel 2 Action News. To help you survive a disaster and what you... During the holiday season, and experts have long said air travel is the safest way to go, safer than driving to the airport or just walking to the terminal. But accidents do happen, and tonight Chris Curl looks at how flight attendants are trained to help you. It's her continuing special assignment, Your Life in Their Hands. How could anyone have lived through this disaster? 184 people survived the crash in Sioux City, Iowa in 1989. And just last July, 20 people lived through this crash in Charlotte, North Carolina. When you look at all the, uh, the fatal uh, airline accidents, the overall survivable uh, rate is something like 85 percent. John Hammerschmidt is one of five investigators for the National Transportation Safety Board. So there are many things that a passenger can and should do. At Delta headquarters okay, near Hartsfield Airport, flight attendant trainer Paulette Massey shows us what we can do to help save ourselves and others around us. When you get on the plane, count how many rows your seat is from the nearest exits, not always the one you entered. Because you can't always see if you're... Right. If there's a fire on the, in the cabin, then it would be smoke-filled and you wouldn't be able to see very well, or also if the uh, power went off in an emergency. And if the smoke is thick enough, even the floor track lights and the exit signs might be obliterated. As you get out, keep your face at armrest level to avoid rising smoke at the ceiling and harmful fumes from the floor. And when the flight attendant says, buckle up, do it. If the flight attendant comes and requests that they sit upright and put their seatbelt on, it's important that they know that it's for their own safety. Or it's else what happened to this crash dummy could happen to you if the cabin loses pressure. The destruction in the cabin of this Air China jet was not done in a crash. It was done by unbuckled passengers who were tossed around when the plane lost altitude. And if you sit at an exit window or door, you may be the one to lead the way out during an evacuation. Stand up. Face the back of the airplane. Take your right arm, put on the bottom hand hole. Your left on the top. Pull in. Place the window on the armrest. Great. Step through the window. Go off the back of the wing. Good job. Even before you get on the plane, there are some things you can do to help yourself. High heels will slow you down. Pantyhose can catch fire and burn you. Carry-on luggage can get in the way. And finally, when you are on board, pay attention to your flight attendant's instructions. Yeah. Flight attendant Gloria Tinsley says that may exactly. save your life. So many people just do, just tune you out, they don't listen, and, and if they are not listening, they're already going to be panicked in an emergency situation, and they will not be able to function. And a lot of times, deaths occur because people panic. I even have had passengers making faces in, in the background, you know, like, well, this isn't really that important, let's try to make her laugh. Chris Curl, Channel 2 Action News. And to underscore how each year... That's 95% of all transportation fatalities. Compare that with 200 air passenger deaths in the past two years. The settlement of an airline price-fixing lawsuit means discount travel coupons will be mailed out starting Thursday. The settlement involves more than 4 million claims. The suit alleged that nine major airlines shared a computerized reservation system which allowed them to raise their ticket prices in Congress. U.S. District Judge Marvin Shube today approved a $4 million plan to repay for it. Atlanta updating you once again on the crash of an American Eagle flight tonight. We are now told at this time by the Highway Patrol in the North Carolina area that an American Eagle commuter flight, and we are told it is a jet stream aircraft with 16 people on board, was reported to have crashed in Morrisville, North Carolina which is near the Raleigh-Durham Airport. This, again, is according to the North Carolina Highway Patrol. Dispatcher Christopher Norris in Raleigh has said that the patrol was aware of a crash in the vicinity but had no other details than it was a commuter plane with 16 people on board. Again, a Jetstream Super 31. An American Eagle commuter plane bound from Greensboro, North Carolina to Raleigh-Durham crashed near Raleigh-Durham International Airport just before 7 p.m. Eastern time. It was flight 379 from Greensboro. A jet stream aircraft went down in a wooded area southwest of the airport. The weather in Raleigh is very fog and rain. Reports say 22 crew or that's confirmed five fatalities and injuries. Stay with headline news.